All right, guys. So let's go ahead and tackle. Let's tackle this one. All right. So uh, we're working on Thursday's 1022 lecture. Uh, what we're going to do, this one won't take very long. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to give you this rule and it's not on the formula sheet. Uh, and uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to do this one down here in class. So we're going to do two different ones. So I'm going to give this one a little bit more room because we're going to need it. All right. So let's go ahead and go back up to the top here. So we're on pages 303 and 302. So when we're, uh, actually, I think this is the one on the formula sheet. Now I'm going to have, I'll, I'll check for you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'll look here in a second too, right at the end of this. So if we're, let me look at page 303. You can pause the video now if you want or fast forward it till I start writing because uh, we're talking about the general addition rule. Let's see. Yeah, the general addition rule is is on there. So, so here's what the general addition rule looks like. So, you won't have to memorize this. We're going to do the probability of A or B. Wow, what happened here? Uh, hopefully my computer is not glitching. There we go. Let's try it again. A or, there we go. A or B. So this upside down U is or. Okay. And then is equal to the probability of A happening plus the probability of B happening minus the probability of A and B happening. This is and. And the way I remember it is it's like a staple. That means they're stapled together and they've got to go together. So staple. So upside down staple means an and. So that's the general addition rule. It's on the formula sheet. Uh, so you don't have to memorize these things. So start getting used to that formula sheet. I, I print it out and kind of get used to it. So lucky us, we go all the way back to our world of uh, two-way tables. So we get, we're given some pieces of information about the a census. Each member is a high school graduate or not, and somebody's a homeowner or not. So if we, if we look at this, woo, messed that up. Whoa, there we go. So if we look at this, we're going to say they are a high school graduate or they're not a high school graduate. And then here, they own a home and they don't own a home. So this would be own. Told you I'm getting better at writing this thing. Still don't know about these lines here. All right, so I can do vertical, uh, horizontal lines just fine. So we're going to do our two-way table. Let's see if I can do this one better. So. Nope, not even close. Let's do that one. Uh, that is just, that is the worst line ever. Hey, hey, better. High school, nope, horrible. And, oh, nope, horrible. And there we go. And then we have, are going to have our totals out here. So we're going to have a one here and one here. And we're going to have our full total here. And we're going to have our totals out there. So. So we got to remember our two-way table. So they give us some information. So they tell us that 221 were both homeowners and high school graduates. All right. So both owned a home and a high school graduate. So we get 221 right there. Then we also know that overall there was 340 homeowners. So they uh, overall there was 340. And then uh, there were 310 high school graduates. So this one is 310. So at that point, and it was out of a total of 500. That's right there. It's 500 right there. Whoops, 500 right here. So we have 500. So we have a total of 500. So now we can fill in this piece of information here. Whoops, 
we can fill in, yeah, I'll use a green. We can fill it in uh, with doing some math. So if I do 340 minus 221, I get 119. I already did this, so it'll, it'll go a lot faster. I don't need a calculator. Uh, and then I also know if I do these two here, subtract those two, 500 minus that is 190, which means that if I subtract 190 minus 119, I get 71. And if I subtract 310 minus 221, I get 89. And then if I subtract or I could add those two together, I get 160. So now I've got my two-way table all set up. So now we're going to check for events. So let's just say we have event A, which is a high school graduate. And then we have event B, which is a homeowner. Those are our two events. So in A, they want to know the probability of a high school graduate. So it's the probability of A. So what's the probability of A? Well, if we look at a high school graduate, here's all our high school graduates. We care less if they own a home. So it's going to be 310 out of 500. So then we can say, okay, let's look at the probability that a high school graduate and owns a home. So this is the probability of A and B, okay? Upside down for and. So probability of A and B. Well, that's going to be the probability that A happens and B happens. So right here, we're at 221. So we have 221 over 500. So that's the probability of that happening. All right, so now we've got the final one, which is, the, which is C, which is going to be the probability that the graduate owns a home or a graduate. So, so we have the probability of A or B, which means we need the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, okay? So we know that it's all, the totals are all out of 500. So let's just put that there. So the probability of A happening, the probability of A happening being a high school graduate is 310. The probability of being a homeowner, owning a home is 340 right there. So plus 340. Well, if you add right there, that's 650. We can't have more than 100%. So what happens is the fact that we have some, that we have this row that is owns a home and this row here, which is a high school graduate, we have some people that are double counted. And that means that those are the ones that have a, a home and a high school degree. So we have to subtract them. So we end up with 429 out of 500 is the probability that to own a home and be a high school or be a high school graduate. All right, guys. So tomorrow in class or Wednesday in class, we're going to go over this one. Uh, so we got some examples that we're going to do in class uh, this week just to kind of give us an idea of what's going on. So we'll tackle this one in class. Don't forget the homework with this is 31 and we are good to go guys let's see if i can pull this one off and stop